So first, you're just saying, you know, it's, we've had a bit of a break. Just what have you? Has it been? Are you, are you feeling refreshed? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's been a bit of good time in, uh, in respect to the time of the season, and things like that. Um, so having missed one game, that I've had one on near the end, back end of the season. So, um, so no, keep us, keep us going, keep us hungry, and everyone kind of got out of each other's hair, um, which I think is good for the group. Yeah, yeah, we we spoke about how close you all are, but nice to have a, a bit of time away, time to, with the family and stuff. Yeah, sometimes you, you see the boys at football more than you see your missus and kids, so it's nice to spend a little bit of time, a bit strange on a Saturday, not doing much. Um, but no, I enjoyed it and back to work. Yeah, yeah, back to work. You're saying it's, it's been, a, been a busy week getting ramped up to the game. Just how, is, how are you feeling and how's the body feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Um, We've done quite a bit of hard work this week, which will put us in good stead for not only this game, but finishing off the season strong, like we want to do, and me personally feeling good, and um, kind of pretty used to playing this amount of games, so see how we get on. Yeah, we just said there's nine games in just over five weeks, so it's and they're a busy end to the season. Is it just <coughs> managing yourself, keeping yourself going? Yeah, you, you're kind of like ticking the games off now in respect to getting through and doing well and um, getting the performances that we want. There's not too much that the manager can teach us on the training pitch now. We've had we've had enough of that in respect to he's given us everything we need. It's now down to us. So, um, yeah, just let it, let it do its own thing at the minute and make sure as a group we, we're all pushing in the right direction. You know, you're, you're an experienced player. This is, you know, you've done a few seasons and is it you know your body when how you're feeling and how to keep preparing when it is busy? Um, I, I tend to do the same things kind of over and over again because I feel like they work. So, um, yeah, I think that kind of the recovery and that is so big now. It's been a big difference playing here rather than other previous clubs with the amount of travelling that we do. We don't do anywhere near amount of travelling that I've done previously. So that's a big, that's a big benefit. Um, and then obviously not going away internationally has helped as well because I always struggle after that. Um, so yeah, and obviously coming back when everyone's had a bit of time off and you might have played two games and during COVID three games, um, it's nice to be kind of on a level playing field with everyone. Yeah, is everyone ready ready to be back and ready to, to get going after a little break? Yeah, definitely everyone was pleased to see each other when we came back in and, and really hit the ground running. And and how does the the manager attack this bit where it's a bit like Christmas where you've got like back to back games really close? How is it kind of going into those games and then the re the short recovery you've got in the middle? Um, probably do the opposite to what we've done at Christmas is what I would guess. <laughs> um, but no, I think it's <clears throat> I think psychologically the games are a little bit closer together, but they're not really like made it's not really drastic, you know. So. Um, and then we don't play again for a week, so it's not like that Christmas period where you play three games in sometimes seven days, and then you're playing your fourth two days later, you know, so um, it is a little bit, and I think we're at the stage of the season now where we've all got our fitness and we're all, um, all ready. And what what are the goals going into these, these final <coughs> games, you know, it's been a good season, you're in a good position, where is the aim to, to, to keep going and where to finish? Just finish stronger, really, don't, don't just peter out, don't have any dead rubbers at the end of the season, there's nothing worse than that. Um, and I think as a group who we got in the dressing room this year, I think that as a group we'll struggle with the dead rubber games if it comes to that, so we don't want it to come to that. So go into the last game of the season with something still to play for. Um, and that will be important for us. Yeah, we've we've seen the manager and speaking to the players, it doesn't seem like you're gonna, you know, just just stop and say, you know, we've had a good season, let's wrap up with, with five games to go or whatever. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, if it doesn't go well, we definitely won't be finishing in the top half. And um, I think the top ten is probably a bare minimum that the dressing room will will accept. And I, I don't think that's something that anyone even wants to do. Um, but I mean, if we play some tough games, if the luck's against us and that happens, then I think we will come away kind of looking around saying we've fallen short rather than we've done well in the dressing room. Um, and that's just the mentality of the group, which I think is good. Perfect, thank you.